The first aminoglycosides were discovered in the 1940s, early in the antibiotic era. Although the use of these drugs can be limited by route of administration and potential toxicities, they remain powerful tools against otherwise resistant bacteria. The aminoglycosides are a class of protein synthesis inhibiting antimicrobials. They act by irreversibly binding to the 30S ribosomal subunit, and they also have a multiplicity of other effects, including interfering with the bacterial cell membrane. These other effects combined with that irreversible binding makes the aminoglycosides bactericidal and really differentiates them from other protein synthesis inhibitors, which are frequently only bacteriostatic. It should be noted that the aminoglycosides are only active against aerobic bacteria, or maybe more correctly said, only active against bacteria under aerobic conditions. There's an oxygen-dependent uptake mechanism required for the drug to enter the cell. And so under anaerobic conditions, you simply won't get uptake and you won't have any activity. The aminoglycosides are also commonly combined with the beta-lactams for synergy. The beta-lactam breaks down the cell wall, allowing higher concentrations of the aminoglycoside to enter and results in real synergy against the organism. Streptomycin was one of the original aminoglycosides, and although it's rarely used uh, nowadays, it does have good activity against some of our nasty sort of bioterrorism or zoonotic agents, things like plague, Francisella tularensis, um, and brucella species. Gentamicin, much more commonly used, is one of our best anti-gram-negative drugs. It's really one of the go-tos for anti-pseudomonal activity, these non-fermenting gram-negative rods that can otherwise be quite difficult to treat. Amikacin also has excellent anti-pseudomonal activity, but is also frequently used for treating nasty gram-positive infections. When combined with a beta-lactam, it has excellent activity against enterococcus, and amikacin also remains one of our last line of defense drugs against multidrug resistant staphylococci like methicillin resistant staph aureus or methicillin resistant staph pseudintermedius. Notably, amikacin also has good activity against nocardia species. Neomycin is a drug which in human medicine is primarily used topically as part of a triple antibiotic ointment, those BNP preparations of bacitracin, neomycin, and polymyxin B. In veterinary medicine, it's been used for treating neonatal scours and piglets and, and calves, um, and is primarily active against gram-negative rods. Spectinomycin is not strictly speaking an aminoglycoside, but is rather an aminocyclitol a related drug class which has a similar structure, similar mechanism of action, but is differentiated from the aminoglycosides by a subtly different binding site on the ribosome, and also the fact that it doesn't bind with the same high affinity, so it's not as irreversible as the aminoglycoside binding, leading to lower antimicrobial activities. Spectinomycin is primarily active against gram-negative rods and also mycoplasma, and would be primarily used in veterinary medicine. I hope this description of the aminoglycosides have been helpful, and if you have any questions, put them in the comment section below.